Hey guys, this is part two of the walkthrough of one of my bigger gun rooms. Check out part one if you want to see the rest of the goodies. First one we're gonna start with is a wannabe h &K. It's a replica 22 with a replica suppressor on it. I bought that for kids who wanna come out and shoot a 22 for fun. Below that one is a survival gun. It breaks down in half. Shoots a 410 and I believe a 22. we We've played around with one of those before and shot pretty decent. Then right down here is my dad's 22 that he had when he was a kid. I've shot that a few times, but I have to keep that for sentimental reasons, of course. Up at the very top is an MP40 German, but it's dewatted, so you can't shoot it. But the one below that is a replica of that in nine millimeter. This one I don't remember. I can't even remember the caliber. Uh, it came across a radar to buy, so I bought it. Shot it maybe a few times, that's about it. This is a Banshee chambered in 5.7. It's got a fun trigger in it. It is SBR'd. This is a, I think it was made by Andro. They're out of Florida. It's a flamethrower in 5.56, that's SBR'd. Most of these guns are all SBR'd, like I said before in the earlier video. This one's a Banshee, I believe, AR-10, 10 millimeter, which I'm a big fan of 10 mil. Below that, it's nine millimeter, made by Andro, I believe. This is another one, it's in 5.56. Kind of a fun gun to shoot. It's one of my wife's guns, I think, I believe. This one's a takedown nine millimeter. Played around with that for a little bit. It's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's still fun to shoot. Above that's Tommy gun. Like you see in the movies, the 45 drum's kind of a pain in the ass to put on. The drum for the Tommy is kind of difficult to put on. That's why it's never gonna come off. Below, below that is an Uzi in nine mil, of course. Below that, PS90 in 5.7. This is an IWI in 7.62 by 39. I know it was in the movie Heat. You guys corrected me on that last time. Thank you. I have an SBR of that in the other room in 308. This is an F1 in 5.56. I'm not sure why I don't have it on the other wall, but it is where it is. This one, 300 Blackout. This one's a SIG. Great gun. It's one of my favorites, actually. This one, another one I think is LWRC. 45. Love that gun. That's a blast to shoot. It's got a fun trigger in it. Well, that's a SIG in 9mm. And below this one, that one is Maxim Defense, one of their new ones they built. That's in 300 Blackout. I have another one in 7.62 by 39. Above that, Chris, Chris Vector in 45. Not a big fan. There's another takedown gun, 9mm for hunting. And then you get into the Caltech, which shoots, uses PS90 mags, but it's 5.7, 9mm Scorpion, and a 9mm Copperhead, and then a very heavy 22 IWI. Now you guys will notice there's room for more guns, which will definitely have it. And the first video I did on this gun room, we did have these revolvers. I still have not learned much about them, and I will get to that. Sorry guys, it's been a little busy, but these were bought out of a collection of a gentleman who needed some money, so I jumped on it. You got some from the Performance Center, Smith & Wesson, you know, it, these come with comps. Great gun, fabulous gun. I've shot them a few times in the range. I've not shot them out at the ranch yet. H and K's in there. Then I have another one that was designed with Jerry Mitchlick in mind. Have not shot it yet. We need to get him out here and show me how to shoot it. Yeah, I hear a long Smith & Wesson. I was told it's called a silhouette gun because of the, the sights up front. Have not tried that yet, but I'm anxious to do that. And to the right, some more Smith & Wessons. One of them is a, I guess, security for back in the day during the Boeing days. Pretty nice looking gun. Not shot that. I haven't shot any of these except those performance package guns. And then we get on to, this is, if Chad wants to show it, a John Wick 4 safe. Open up the top of the door. There's no guns in it right now. And that's where all the uh, goodies from John Wick 4 are uh, laid out. For those who haven't seen the channel, these are the cabinets. Now I get one of these a month. At the beginning of the year, I'll get a statement showing what the guns are gonna cost total for that year. And the wife and I talk about it. If we wanna keep doing it, of course she's going to keep doing it. And we're serial number seven out of 25 now, cause this is 2025. And these guns, guys, they're very expensive, but to me, they're well worth the price. I'll enjoy them forever. And in here, you have the John Wick safe. Now, this has been in quite a few videos. It took eight guys to bring it in in a Bobcat. A lot of work. It has marble in it. It has the uh, chair in it, which rolls out with, you know, the knives from the movie, you know, the crest he had, the real gold coins, and of course, the bloody pencil. You got all Terran Tactical. You got your M4. You got the two shotguns, of course, both made by Benelli and all souped up by Terran. And you got the PS90. Then you got the two John Wick Combat Masters, both of them Terran, of course, Glocks. Then you have the Terran AR platform. Then you got the Mini Combat Master and Glock. Then you got the Scorpion. 
this one I was concerned about because it was white, but I guess if you pause the movie in the vault room at some point, there is a white Banshee in there, 10 millimeter. Then below that, you got your 308. Then of course you got an H and K nine millimeter VP nine. Then you got another Glob nineteen done by Terran. And right here you got a short version of a sniper rifle, six five Creedmoor. And then the IWI here in seven six two by thirty nine. So it's pretty badass. The wife definitely had to have that since she watches that movie on a daily basis. She loves it. I know there's only four made. Originally they were supposed to make ten, but that did not happen because I think the producers were not liking it too much because they were saying it was a John Wick set. That's still badass. And then over here, we have an infinity. I had to buy it just because of the serial number in it. It says baller 45 shit is what I think it says. And then below that is you got Damascus with mammoth grips. Then you have your Nighthawk. This is a, I think it's an Agent 2 with a turbo lower done. I think the Turnbo is a three or four year waiting list to get anything done by Turnbo. And the bottom two are all commemorative. Nothing too crazy special, but kind of cool at the same same time. One's a 22, one's a 45, 1911. And then up here is the Cheetah, done by Beretta. It's pretty cool. Nice case, 380. It's actually a nice little gun to shoot. Not too bad at all. And then you get the flamethrower guys. You got one, two, three, four flamethrowers. Everybody, you know, I usually use those to melt snow with because it gets really bad out here in North Dakota. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys take care, hit like and subscribe. And if you got any questions, hit the comments below. Take care.